buns, bow 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 buns. guys it's your girl Kaylee Bueno here and you guys are watching Bueno Eats if you're new to my channel please hit that like subscribe and that notification button down below we are making bowel buns bowel buns I've tried these in so many places and I love them everywhere I go I just had to make them and show you guys I'm gonna make bowel buns not only am I gonna make bowel buns but they're gonna have jackfruit in them. I'm trying to see this whole craze about jackfruit and how it's supposedly supposed to be a good substitute for meat. I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I liked it. I will try it again. I will do it multiple times. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I'm not, it's not too shy. So I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Let's go. So today we're gonna make bao buns. Not any ordinary bao buns, but bao buns with jackfruit in it. I'm trying to expand my culinary art, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make these. What you need is two tablespoons of curry powder, two tablespoons of marsala, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of pink salt, or you can use regular salt, one tablespoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of oregano, one bulb of garlic, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh yeah, and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And the main part of this dish, the jackfruit. I couldn't find any of the actual jackfruit, so I found the canned jackfruit. Um, if you can, shit, get that, but I just found the can. So I basically just uh, got some garlic and used my menthol and pestle and started smashing it and then I added my peppercorns to the garlic. It adds a nice flavor to the garlic and kind of brings it together a little bit better. Um, you're going to first do that and after you're done we're going to get your jackfruit, remove all the water from the jackfruit and then you're going to put it in the bowl and add all your spices. I let the spices marinate for about three days. You can do up to a day to three days depending on how long you do it. Gives it a better flavor and lets the jackfruit absorb the flavor. So that depends on you. So I just let, just put it in your fridge and let it set for at least an hour to maybe three days. I feel like people should at least do one day to kind of get it to get a little better flavor. But the minimum you can do is about an hour. I also added a little bit of avocado oil to kind of like help spread the seasoning so yeah you can do that too. While your jackfruit is marinating you're going to start making your bao buns. You need 2 third cup of warm water, 1 cup of milk, 2 tablespoons of active dry yeast, 8 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of sesame seed oil, 5 cups of all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons of avocado oil, vegetable oil, or any type of cooking oil, uh, 2 tablespoons of garlic powder, 1 tablespoon of baking powder, and 1 tablespoon of salt. We're going to start by activating our yeast. So basically you're going to put all your wet products, your milk, your water, your oil, and you're going to add your yeast. You're also going to add your sugar so that it can activate and give the yeast something to feed on so that it can bloom. Once you give your yeast about 3-5 to five minutes, it should start to bloom something like this. If it doesn't, that can mean that your yeast is old or no good. So you would have to start all over again with a new yeast. Next, we're going to start with our dry ingredients. Get your flour and whisk it a little bit. After you're done whisking and make sure all the clumps are out, you're going to then add all your seasonings, your garlic, your salt, everything else that are in the dry ingredients, and you're going to whisk it all together. Once you're done with your wet and dry ingredients, you're then going to mix them together. On your mixer, remove your attachment from the whisk to the paddle. And you're going to mix your dough until it is a nice combined dough for about 5 to 7 minutes. Thank you. 
Once your dough is done mixing in the mixer, you're going to remove your dough from the mixer and knead it for 5 minutes. Once you're done kneading it, you're going to put it in a nice oil bowl and let it sit covered with plastic wrap for about an hour so that it can rise. Once your jackfruit is marinated to your desire, you're then going to add your jackfruit to a nice hot pot with a half a cup of vegetable broth. You're going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes to an hour. While your jackfruit is cooking, we're going to start by rolling out the dough. Lay some flour on a nice, clean, flat surface, and then we're going to uh, knead out the dough. Knead it for about two minutes, and then we're going to roll it out with a rolling pin, and we're going to cut it out with three, three inch wide cookie cutters. <laughs> Remember, once you're done cutting out the cutouts, you can always remove the leftover dough, roll it again, and cut out some more cutouts. Next, we're going to fold the bao buns. First, I roll out the dough a little bit so that it makes maybe a little bit of an inch wider. Um, after you do that, you're then going to put a little bit of sesame seed oil in between and then just fold them over so that they don't stick once you steam your buns. Also, while you're folding and getting all the rest of your bottle buns together, once you're done flipping it, you can put it under a wet towel to keep the moisture in. Next, we are going to make a topping for the bao bun. I'm basically going to make a kale slaw. So first we're going to start by thinly slicing the kale into a nice kind of like chiffon. And then we're going to slice our red onions in nice thin slices. In the end, you will end up with your kale and your thinly sliced red onions. Add them to a bowl 
and we're gonna start adding the seasoning. For the kale slaw, you're basically gonna need a third a cup of Caesar dressing and a third a cup of moho dressing. I made moho a couple weeks back, probably almost maybe a month ago. I'll put a link up top so you guys can get the recipe there. Um, I used bottled Caesar dressing to see if I can give, you know, some people an easier route on how to make this slaw, but I kind of liked it better with my own aioli. So I'll probably teach you guys how to make that maybe on my Instagram. You guys should follow me so you can see my little quick videos. Um, but it was pretty good with the bottle Caesar dressing. I just, I think I liked it better with the aioli. But yeah, you're just gonna add both of those dressings and you're gonna add a little salt and pepper and then mix it together and put it in the fridge to set aside. Now we're gonna start uh, steaming the bao buns. Um, I basically got a steamer, like a dumpling steamer I got from an Asian market. I recommend you getting one of those attachment steamers. I've seen them before where you can just attach them to your pot and then you're just gonna use uh, parchment paper or uh, coffee liners and you can uh, put it around the steamer like how I did here so that the buns don't stick. They cook for about five to six minutes. They don't really take too long. I cooked on them. I cook them on a medium heat, and once you're done, you just set them aside and let them cool on a sheet tray with parchment paper. In the end, your bao bun should look something like this, nice and fluffy and spongy. And so, after you're done, while you're letting those cool, you start checking on your jackfruit. Then we're gonna start by turning off the heat with the jackfruit and then you're gonna add about a half a cup of barbecue sauce. Mix it around, turn your heat back on and let it like kind of simmer and boil until the meat and the barbecue sauce is combined. And once you're done, we're gonna start stacking the bao buns. Um, I just started by plating the bao buns. I just put the jackfruit in between them and then I laid it with the coleslaw and a nice little uh, hot sauce on top. That's if you choose to. You don't have to. They taste pretty good by themselves. Um, that's if you just want a little extra flavor. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these bao buns. I hope you try them out. If you do, do feel free to tag me in them on my Instagram or even show them to me on my Facebook. I would love to see any of you guys trying my new recipes. Alright guys, we're now coming to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button down below. I would much appreciate it. Thanks. If you're new to my channel, please hit that like, subscribe, and that notification button down below so you know what's up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next week.